Shut up, straight to a penthouse, Miami Beach. Yeah, yo. Talk crazy on tweets. Who? They don't want it cause I come to defeat. They don't want it. I peep, these niggas all sweet. Wee. Bamboo sticks all in the Jeep. Wee. It's a new weirdo every week. Weirdo. Get the work, put it up for my seeds. No care for the IG, just no Do care. anything for club. Anything. Do anything for club. Hooray, hooray, it's Saturday. <laughs> hey, T-Squad, it's me, Color Me Pink, a.k.a. Keisha, and I'm here with a new Spill the Tea video. So Tyrese sat down with The Breakfast Club earlier this week in a tell-all interview where he explained what was going on with him a few years ago when he was having those erratic outbursts on Instagram where he was crying and him um, getting into it with The Rock and, you know, bringing Will and Jada into the situation and how he was on psych drugs at the time, which he says caused that type of behavior. So let's check out what he had to say about that time in his life. And the you is everybody clearly could see that something was going on. This is not, something's happening. Crying video, what more do you want from me? Congratulations! Congratulations. <laughs> it, it, something is happening. And so, now, when you're out of your mind, you don't go on Instagram and say, I just got off the phone and Will Smith is sending me $5 million when I never even talked to Will Smith. Mm -hmm. oh, you don't call Jada and say, I ain't no killer, but don't push me. To, right. Revenge is like the sweet joy that <laughs> you you're getting said that? Yeah, I, I, I did. On the um, phone to Jada. Because I was like, maybe <laughs> maybe that'll help for her to call <laughs> Will. Shit, and, yo. Ain't no and, way. No, I, really, fuck? Yeah, <laughs> I said that. I'm still on an apology tour mm. for the damage that I've caused. My relationship with Will Smith mm. is still beautiful, but it'll never be the same. Mm. Because the whole Smith family woke up to all the energy that they did. Mm -hmm. And like of all people in my life, you know how public I've been about mm -hmm. how Will Smith has changed my life. Of all mm -hmm. people, that's the last person that should have woke up to all this energy about, you know, that I thought like, killer. oh, Will Smith got five million. It, it was the, I said that Samantha was pregnant when she wasn't. Mm -hmm. I, it was all kind of shit that was just happening. And, and then this is the part that I've never said publicly Imagine being so out of your mind mm. on psych meds, which I've never taken in my life. Uh, I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't. There was. I don't do anything as a gateway into drugs. I smoke hookah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's kind of it. Mm -hmm. Santana uh, said he can't stand men that smoke hookah. Go ahead. You say you smoke hookah and <laughs> what else? <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I smoke hookah. <laughs> so there is nothing about me pertaining to my own system that is now prepared for a bigger thing, mm -hmm. drug-wise, drinking-wise, if it would ever happen. Mm -hmm. So you put something in my system, it's not only going to have adverse, it's going to have the most extreme adverse effects, mm -hmm. and it ended up playing out for the world to see. Yeah, we, I got a 12-minute video on the internet that I never knew mm -hmm. I filmed mm -hmm. that was uploaded and was on the internet for three straight months. I was a meme. I got the ugliest crying faces of all time. And it became the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me ever. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even know I did it. And I didn't know that the jokes was flying. I didn't know that what more do you want from me or congrats. I, ne I never knew that none of that was out there. And then when oh, the psych shit. meds finally got out of my system, as a person... And this is something that, that I want y'all to really, really hear me on this. Why don't you drink? Why don't you do drugs? Why don't mm -hmm. you fuck around? You've been in the game. You ain't never had no wine. Mm -hmm. You ain't never drunk a beer, nothing. Mm -hmm. My mother was an alcoholic, rest in peace for 27 years. Father was a crackhead, still a crackhead. So everything about my house and everything about my environment that I grew up in in the hood, it made me work really hard to be the opposite of everything that I grew up in and around. Mm -hmm. So that's why I walk around to this day. So imagine working this hard to be the opposite of that, to then to have something like that to happen, and I end up becoming mm -hmm. everything that I've yeah. worked hard mm -hmm. yeah. to not to fuck be. with my whole life. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was more fucking depressed and sad 
about the damage that was done from me being out of my mind because mm. it was it was like, well, see, if you want to know why I don't drink and don't smoke and don't have fuck with nothing, why. that's the reason why. <laughs> I mean, I'm talking about, I pulled out the biggest water hose with lighter fluid and burned down every fucking mm -hmm. tree I could mm -hmm. for every personal business, movie, franchise, and mm -hmm. relationship. Mm -hmm. Listen, because you're going through some shit don't mean you got to get into some psych meds and fuck up every relationship. I'm glad that he's giving us context on what was going on in his life at that time because it was very shocking uh to see Tyrese in that manner we were all shocked and like what is going on with him we thought that he was having like a nervous breakdown like he was really going through it at that time and this was around COVID wasn't it or during COVID but um I believe him and The Rock have mended you know their relationship to whatever capacity but uh, him and DJ Envy still have a lot of work to do. Let's take a listen to what DJ Envy had to say to him about the disrespect that he showed towards his wife at that time. What I'm saying to you is everybody. A little bit of everything. He was, he, he was, he was on the psych meds then. Because you, you, you said you don't even so remember a lot of the stuff you were saying. Though. I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't at all. Yeah. So to, just like <clears throat> when you get drunk, do you hold your boy to what he's saying while he's drunk? No, I never held that against you. Okay. Do you hold anybody to anything that they're doing when you know that this is their usual self? They were drunk. They were out of their mind. And they end up saying and doing some shit that hurt my feelings, that was offensive, that made me feel a way. But I know that characteristically, that's not who this man is. Well, yeah, see, see the, the difference is, I don't. I, I honestly don't know what psych meds you, you were on or who you, you were doing that point. I don't, I don't know. It. I don't know. I don't, it's I don't know. It's called Salty. It's I don't know. I never had a conversation with you because I never wanted to see you like that. The person who spoke to me on these texts spoke to my wife during that time at the text. I didn't like that. And I wanted to remember Tyrese as a person that was my brother and helped my relationship, not the Tyrese that I was going through. So I took a step back from so you. you got until the text we had a messages of the psych mad Tyrese? He did. That's oh, what it was. Are you crazy? Charlamagne told you to suck his dick before on that message. Because you was talking crazy. Whoa, whoa. You know that. We hey, had this conversation already. Guys. But he I, said, he literally said, I, I, don't, don't, he said, I, I don't remember any of that. But, 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 I don't but, remember what I said that I made you. you say that but, but or to this made point, you but, feel that way. But to this point, I stuck, uh, took a step back because I didn't know what you were going through. And I tried to talk to you and, and I seen who you were. And I didn't even like who you were online. And to my point, I tried. And when I seen mm -hmm. how you were talking this way, I said, I'm going to take a step back. And you know, when, I, when me and Tyree had a convenient. How convenient? Yeah, how convenient. Yeah, when when the way you were talking, the way that you were. How convenient how to con step back. What you mean? I never stepped back from you. From you. It's right. You should have stepped But I never up. talked to your wife in a disrespectful manner. And you talked to mine in a disrespectful manner. How? And I never told nobody that. If even I, uh, even, even when you were on, and, and you could say you were on those psych meds, and you could say that you weren't. You mean? But as a man, some of the things that you said, Tyrese, deserved me to box your mouth. Well, and I didn't, whoa, whoa, no, whoa, no, whoa, no, 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 no and to the point, when you started talking to psych meds, I, me and my wife had a conversation. He said, well, maybe Tyrese was on those medicines when he said it. But if you ever text me and my wife, you can't text me because I block, I just unblocked you probably about a month ago when me and Charlamagne was talking. And he told me that you were on the psych meds and this is what it was. That's why, yeah, that's yeah. what made me unblock you. So that was the reason why I stopped talking to you and will not reach out to you anymore because I'm like... I don't want to remember my brother as that. Can you laugh at it now when you go back? No. No, he ain't laughed this I whole can't. damn time. You know time why I can't playing. laugh? Because Envy still feels the way. And I ain't seen this brother since it all happened. Mm -hmm. And I don't even know what I text this brother or his wife. Well, I, so I, I'm here still on an apology tour. And this was 2017. Well, I will say this. As far as I'm concerned, it's, it's, it's over. You know what I mean? We had a conversation. I'm sure my wife would feel the same way. Um, but yeah, you're right. And the reason I say that is... What and I, and I'm not gonna bring it back, but I'm gonna tell you what my mind frame was. I had somebody that that worked for you call me up, and what I felt and what happened to me, you must have did to him as well. And we'll talk behind the scenes what it was, and that just made me say, you know what? Let me take a step away. 
Just think about how many times I was in Atlanta. You're like, yo, E, come by the crib. And I just, nah. Because I just didn't know who you were as a person. Because who, when I looked at you, I looked at you as big bro, right? And when I was going through my problems, you would call, you would check your E, I'm checking on you. And this is not, and, I, and, and to, to people to understand. So to bring this into context, when Tyrese made the comment, how convenient. And he was like, what you mean how convenient? He was like, how convenient that you step back from me when I never stepped back from you when you were going through your things. If you don't know that when DJ Envy and his wife were going through um, his infidelity and she was thinking about divorcing him and, you know, he was having a nervous breakdown and all those things. Tyrese was one of the people that helped bring their marriage back together with um, prayer. And I believe he hooked them up with a pastor or somebody that he knew like he was really helpful in helping to mend their marriage so that's what he meant by that comment but then DJ Envy was like you know you said what you said to my wife after all of that you know and I didn't know what was going on because nobody knew at that time that he was on these you know psych meds or whatever Everybody didn't know what was going on. So he was like, I just had to step back because I didn't know what was going on. And he said, yet, you know, an employee of yours that I'm cool with, you basically done the same thing to that person. So I really was like, I'm going to fall back. And I understand what DJ Envy meant, because if you it's one thing for you to help me out with my marriage, wonderful, great. That's a blessing, great friend. But then it's another thing years later for you to be acting out and then you say something real out the way and disrespectful to my wife to the point where my wife blocks you and never wants to speak to you again. That's my wife. I got to stand up for my wife at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to let no man, no matter what, disrespect my wife and my household. You know what I'm saying? So instead of me, like he said, boxing with you blasting you i stepped back you know what i'm saying because he could have easily went on social media talked about it on the radio he didn't do any of those things like obviously Charlemagne didn't even know what was going on he kept it in house which is the right thing to do but now that he knows the truth now they can sit down and have a conversation about what happened at that time you know what i'm saying but, yeah, he is on the apology tour. He needs to stay on it until tickets are sold out. <laughs> um, what y'all think about all of this? This is a true testament about friendship. Um, I believe it says a lot about how friendships can sustain or end over miscommunication, um, over things that are beyond your control. It says a lot. But I got another video that I'm going to do on Tyrese where he's once again attacking his ex-wife. And so are you going to blame this on the, the, the psych meds too, sir? Mm. Okay. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down below in the comment section. Make sure to thumbs up this video, like and subscribe, and hit that notification bell button. I love you, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.